we're going to work through an intro to a yoga sequence. Um, we'll be starting laying on our backs. And for those of you that are just starting off with yoga, I encourage you to listen to your own body um, because we're not physically in the same room with one another. I won't be able to help you, but I will be giving you cues throughout the sequences uh, so that you're comfortable and take it slow. Um, pain is not necessarily a great part of a yoga practice. Uh, so be aware that if you are experiencing pain, you may want to soften the area that you're working to see if you can alleviate some of that stress. I'm going to be using two fronts to the mats. This will be one front and this will be another, but you should only have one front of your mat. So if I'm standing here, this will be the front of everyone's mat. If I'm standing here, again, it's just so you can see the side version of the same posture. So let's all lay on our backs. We're going to lay right back, stretch our arms up over our heads, keep our palms towards the ceiling and stretch out through the fingers, flex out through the heels. Inhale and exhale deeply. Try breathing in and out through the nose. And even here laying on our backs, we can start to engage some universal ideas throughout all the postures, which are, the shoulders are never up around the ears. They're always down the back. Inhale and exhale deeply. Also start to think about the alignment of your spine. While you're laying flat on the ground here, you should have a slight lift in your lower back. Try to draw your rib cage in as you exhale. Now let's bend our knees, bring our knees towards our chest, but keep the knees wide to start off. You want to feel some opening between the sit bones. The sit bones are the bones just directly in your bum. You'll be able to feel them more as we're sitting on them later, but see if you can find them now. Keep breathing and softening. And we're going to warm up the core a little bit before we get started. This is so that when we're doing our forward bending later, you're using the core as you forward bend. You should be able to feel that as you move through the practice. So let's bring our big toes together, reach our arms up behind us again, this time palms facing one another. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, reach the hands towards the ceiling and start to curl the shoulders and head up off the mat. You can lift your toes slightly if you'd like to and start to reach between the legs. Try to keep the hips soft, but keep the belly turned on. Doing this for five deep breaths. Now try to stay curled up, reach your hands around to the outsides of your knees and close your legs together. Holding the backs of your thighs, start to roll your head and shoulders back down onto the mat, and then to your own level, start to straighten the legs towards the ceiling. Use your hands to support some weight of the legs. Flex out through the heels, bend the knees if this is feeling like strain on your lower back. If you're really comfortable, you can reach the hands up, fingertips towards the ceiling, but let your shoulders drop heavily onto the mat. Now reach for your inner thighs, taking the inner lines of the legs, point the toes, and very gently start to take the legs away from each other. It may not be very far for you. However far you go comfortably is fine. Now use the grip of your hands to support the weight of your legs. You can soften the knees, flex out through the heels, and then just gently feel the groin starting to open as you inhale and exhale through the nose. Your lower back should be nice and safe in this position. You want to feel it getting nice and wide as the hips soften. Not to strain to do this perfectly, start to relax the thighs.
Now bring your big toes together. Take your hands to the tops of your knees. We're going to curl our head and shoulders up off the mat again. Now switch your grip just to your right knee and extend out through the left heel. Feel your body climbing higher as you use your tummy muscles to pull your chest towards your knee. And breathe. There is a fair amount of strength work in yoga, and you can consider it part of your toning exercise reg regimen for the year. And we're gonna switch sides, so stay curled up, hands move to the left knee, and press out through the heel of the right foot. You're not just engaging the abdominal muscles here, you're also starting to lengthen the hip flexor of the opposite leg. So my right hip flexor, this area here, is lengthening. And bring both knees towards the chest. Roll the head and shoulders back down onto the mat. Let the soles of the feet come down. And we're gonna let the knees drop apart as the soles of the feet come together. Just rest your hands gently on your inner thighs. Tune into your breathing. You may feel a bit warm in the abdomen. That's a nice feeling. A few more breaths here. And we take our hands to the outsides of the thighs, start to draw the knees back towards the chest, cross the ankles, and we're gonna rock up and over, rocking straight over our knees, coming on to our hands and knees. Press back for a moment into child's pose. Feel your lower back lengthening down as your crown reaches forward. Now take a look forward, make sure your fingers are pointing straight forward, press into your thumb and index finger. We're gonna come up onto our hands and knees and turn our toes under. We're moving into downward dog, so we're gonna lift our hips up and back. You can keep your knees bent, let your head drop, and we're gonna pedal our feet one at a time, lengthening the backs of the legs, trying to stay soft in the shoulders. Play with the engagement in your hands this will help to activate the whole arm so you're not just using the shoulder muscles to support your weight. Now keep walking forward, staying in a forward bend, softly coming towards the top of your mat. Keep your knees bent, grab your opposite elbow and let the body hang forward. Try to shift some of your weight towards the ball and toes of your feet. And release the arms, start to straighten the legs, gently dangling forward. Take your hands to your shins, press into the palms to extend out through the crown. Try to lengthen out through the spine, inhale. And as you exhale, just softly roll forward again. If you do feel lightheaded, bend the knees and take the hands to the knees. Otherwise, you can leave your arms dangling. And we're gently going to curl our tailbone through our legs as we roll up to standing, inhaling as we come up, exhaling with the shoulders drop down. And you're ready to start your yoga practice now. Just take a few moments with the palms open away from you, heart reaching. Close your eyes and come back to your breathing. 